Welcome back to Mountain Connections. I recently spoke with the author of the new book, Five Star Life, all about what you need to know to make sure that you are doing the best. She is a Christian author, and you may recognize her from running her father's many, many restaurants. Let's take a look at our conversation right now. After a challenging year, it may be difficult to keep a positive attitude about life and the future. But now everyone can find inspiration and something to celebrate. In a new book by Brittany Ruby Miller, a respected business leader and the CEO of Jeff Ruby Culinary Entertainment, which runs a national chain of Jeff Ruby restaurants. The new book is called Five Star Life, The Faithful Fight to Overcome Obstacles and Pursue Excellence. Thank you so much, Brittany, for being here today. Thank you for having me. So tell me why you decided to write about a five star life. Well, I grew up in fine dining uh, restaurants, white tablecloth steakhouses, scattered throughout the Midwest. I'm now the CEO of the company. My father founded the company. Uh, and we grew up, and I was trained and taught from a very young age to strive for five stars in our restaurants. And I think people would probably look at my life now. Here I am as a CEO of a, of a fairly large family-owned business, and they would think that my life is perfect. And I wrote a book to talk about how <laughs> absolutely wrong that is, that my life is not perfect and it has been uh, challenging. And, but I, what I realized through this journey of life and through growth and through therapy, a lot of therapy that I talk about in the book, is that God wants us to have a five-star life as well. So as much work as we, I put into the business for it to be five stars, we should all be putting that amount of time and energy and work into ourselves to have a five-star life. What are some of the important challenges that you've faced? Um, there's been uh, absolute, and I think everybody has challenges. And that's part of the, the purpose of writing the book. So I, I could talk about my challenges, and I could probably relate to many of the people who are watching this, because I think a lot of people have been through the same challenges. Uh, my father almost died when I was five years old. He was in a coma for a month. Had a 5% chance of living without being brain dead, and he miraculously walked through. Still very traumatic for a child. I dealt with uh, murder in my family and talked about uh, in the book about walking through forgiveness. Why forgiveness is so important. In, in our world today. And then I talk about my marriage and years of infidelity in the beginning of my marriage and also infertility, which uh, a lot of people, a lot of women especially, we don't feel brave enough talking about that. But when you're walking through those types of things and, and how happy and how glad I am that I fought and I, I, I worked the process, you know, you can't just uh, achieve a five-star life without making the decision that you deserve a five-star life and then putting in the work. So, and then I talk about COVID and running a business and second generation, you know, keeping a company afloat when I had just furloughed 621 employees, you know, over a year ago and, and how we've brought those employees back and, and my COVID learnings, I call them, and my business and what our uh, leadership team ha learned through this and then lobbying on the federal level for, for relief for my industry. So it sounds like personal faith and forgiveness are a very important part of your story. Yeah, this is definitely a faith-based book, and I wouldn't be uh, able to sit here and talk to you without God on my side and without prayer and without faith. And, um, and so, again, that can be kind of foreign in the business world, um, but for me, I, they go hand in hand. I can't, I can't run an excellent company. I can't be a great wife. I can't be a great mother if, and, and then write about it if I don't talk about all the tools. And, and the number one tool to be able to achieve this is through your relationship with Jesus. And, and he is the reason why I have joy in my heart after all of the, the, the plethora of issues that I, you know, I'm a lot of fun. <laughs> but uh, it took a lot of time for me to get to a place where I have a fun life, that, that I'm able to enjoy this life. And I'm, I'm happy that I can hopefully, through my book, share that journey uh, to a five-star life. And I know we are almost out of time, but is there one thing that you would recommend that people can do to start them on the path toward a five-star life? I think recognize that it's okay to not be okay and that your life is, it matters, that you matter and you matter to God and you've got a destiny for your life. And when you recognize that, that's the first step. Doing something about it uh, is the next step. And so we've got to put in the work. We need healthy habits. We've got to get out of the rut. We've got to get out of bed even if we're depressed and put our shoes on and, and, and you know, go for a walk. I mean, there's, there's uh, in, a lot of therapy and life skills in the book that I hope everybody enjoys. And where can we get more information and find the book? The book's on Amazon.com, could be overnighted. Um, it's on Kindle as well, soon to be on Audible or BrittRubyMiller.com, and I'm, it's the same on Instagram, BrittRubyMiller. 
And the new book is called Five Star Life, The Faithful Fight to Overcome Obstacles and Pursue Excellence. Thank you so much, Brittany Ruby Miller, for joining us today. I really appreciate your time and can't wait to read the book. Thank you so much for having me.